And happy Thursday. Thank you so much for joining me here tonight. My name is Alyssa Thomas from Penguin and Fish, where we make cute embroidery kits for the beginning crafter. And I am here every weeknight from 8.30 uh, p.m. at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. I'm here for about an hour. That's 9.30 Eastern and 6.30 Pacific. And it's a time that we can relax and craft together for about an hour here. And uh, tonight we're continuing on the Splendid Sampler 2. We are needle turn appliqueing all of these tiny little toes on these like paw flowers here. <laughs> all this blue that will be embroidered uh, once we're done with the applique, but we are doing the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest of appliques. So we're gonna continue that tonight. We'll see how far we get. Um, I wanted to let you guys know that, that I won't be here tomorrow. Uh, we're going to get a snowstorm, so we're going to leave, we're going to travel and we're, we're leaving a little bit early. Uh, so I probably won't be able to get on here uh, in the evening tomorrow. So this is going to be the last day this week, uh, last day working on the Splendid Sampler 2. Next week on Monday, when we when I'm back, we are gonna be stitching the mandala love pattern. So here it is, embroidery fun in this. So we're we're gonna be stitching it onto a tea towel, or I'm gonna be stitching it onto a tea towel here. Uh, you guys can stitch to whatever you like. Uh, I think it's gonna be fun. So this is gonna be next week's project. Uh, I hope we get it done within the week. This particular embroidery kind of has a lot. A uh, lot of stitching to, to happen, so we'll see how far we get. Um, I think I kind of wanted to start with like the fun little, there's a chain stitch that goes around the whole thing. I'm kind of wanting to, to do that first, so we'll see how that goes. Yep, we will be test driving the new car for a, for a longer trip, Sylvia. Yep, exactly. Filling it up. <laughs> so, all right, I want to get on this uh, real quick here. Uh, I just quickly though this is still available as a PDF. The the kit is is gone. I will be starting to send the pre-sale kits or the pre-order kits. I'll be starting to send those tomorrow. So I'm hoping that you still get those uh, with enough time to stitch next week. Uh, however, the PDF version, the printable version, is still available, uh, and you'll get that just immediately. It'll be in your receipt when you when you order the link to it. Uh, and also the Koala fundraiser, we are still doing that, still uh, collecting money for that, and you're, we're doing that through buying a pattern. So when you buy a pattern, the Koala pattern, that money is going to uh, Australians, for animal, Australians for Animals in uh, Australia there. So, and that is for the Koalas. So, all right, you guys, uh, check that out. And I'm going to flip you around, and let's get going here tonight. Here we go. Yes, and then the uh, the koala we will be stitching next Saturday. So not this coming Saturday, but the Saturday after. Oop. We will be stitching the koala, embroidering the koala live. And we're going to do the entire koala in one sitting. Uh, so it might be a little bit longer than the our one hour, our normal typical time that we do in the evenings here. Uh, it'll probably be more like two and a half, three hours, if I had to guess. So that's, that's our plan on, on the Saturday. It'll be the Saturday, 4 p.m. Central Time. Not the Saturday, it is um, the Saturday after that, the 25th. So I'm really, really, really excited for that. So we'll have a week of embroidery for the Mandela Love Pattern, and then we will have a Saturday full of embroidery too. So that'll be fun. That'll be a nice uh, breather before we do the um, start the orophil block of the month. Uh, we'll be doing that the week after, the last week in January. Geez, the last week of January is coming up already. That's crazy to think about. All right. Let's tie our little knot at the end here. Still using my silk thread. We're gonna try and get some of these nubbins, these toe nubbins done tonight. 
Oh, nice, Paula. Paula says she put it on the calendar so no one else can schedule in that slot. All right, so I numbered up these again. I did it in a weird order. So one, two, three, four. So let's, let's cut out the first one. Yeah, we just have a huge snowstorm coming. Um, so we're like, if we can, we're going to try and get ahead of it tomorrow. We have to wait for some shipments to come into the office. And, and hopefully those trucks come early. Uh, if, if not, then I don't know. Then maybe I still will be here tomorrow night. We'll, we'll see. But in theory, um, in theory, we will be on the road. We'll see how it goes. Dang winter storms, you always gotta figure out, you gotta, you can't really figure out uh, transportation until, until you check the weather. Uh, so next Saturday, Don, at, uh, at 4 p.m. Central Time. So that's, that's 5 p.m. Eastern and 2 p.m. Uh, Pacific. And if you're in Australia, in the, um, in Eastern, what is it, Australian Eastern time, uh, it is, which is like where Melbourne is, it's at 9 a.m. on the 26th, the Sunday. So for, in the U.S., it'll be on, on Saturday, in Australia, it'll be Sunday. Oh, you have 60s weather, sheesh. Okay, so here it was negative 8. We have a cold spell today. It was negative 8 with a wind chill factor of negative 25. <laughs> uh, luckily, with my amazing fuzzy hat, I couldn't really tell. I'm telling you, that fuzzy hat has changed has changed my winters. It really, really, really has. <laughs> the fuzzy hat that has uh, like the chin strap that's also fuzzy. Oh man, I might look like the crazy lady walking around, but it's worth it. That like honestly has changed, changed my winters. But yeah, cold, cold, cold. And it's, it's breezy. It was breezy, too. That's, that's what gives it that extra mega chill. So they're like, yeah, even if you're out for a minute, it's that wind that's going to get you right away. But the new car has a heated steering wheel and heated seats. The old car definitely didn't have either of those things. And it has a remote starter, so I can start it up before I leave, too. It's got all those magic tricks going on with it. That's nice. Oh, you guys, I don't know. Um, hopefully you guys can see me still. It says we have a low network connection again tonight. I'm going to have to get that figured out for next week here. All right. Hopefully it'll come back on here and uh, I'll just keep slow stitching. All right, let me know. You guys are popping back on. I think we might be off for the evening here. Hey, I'll hang out here for a few more minutes, you guys. See how it goes. All right, I'm gonna come off and then come back on, you guys.
Hello there, everyone. So I am coming back on here tonight uh, dealing with Wi-Fi situation. So I'm, I'm hoping that we got that resolved now. So thanks for bearing with me. Uh, again, my name is Alyssa Thomas from Penguin and Fish, where we make cute embroidery kits for the beginning crafter. So thanks again, guys, for joining me. Uh, if you missed it, we are working on the Splendid Sampler to Quilt Lawn. Uh, we're working on that toe, so thanks. Uh, all right, you guys are popping back in. I think we got it worked out, so I'm hoping uh, that we'll be okay. So I'm going to just flip us around. We'll get continuing stitching. I don't think I got much farther <laughs> in the amount of the time that we were frozen because we are needle turn appliqueing, and that is slow, slow business. So all right, I'm going to flip you around. Let's get stitching again here. All right. Thanks for coming back in, you guys. I think we got her, got her working. And if if this, if it's all good tonight, then then I'm confident about uh, next week and everything too. All right, let's get back to it. I went around the little toe edge, and uh, I am working on the little straight edge here. Thanks for popping in again, you guys. I, I appreciate it a ton. All right. We are going to round that last nubbin edge again soon, and that's where it gets a little, a little difficult here. Let's reduce. Yep, Gretchen, this, we are back here. This We're back, so... Um, it was saying low connection stuff and talked to, to John and I think we got it figured out. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are back again too. All right, let's let's finish this toe. I want to cruise around these tonight. It would be great. I don't know if we'll be able to do it because it is kind of a lot, but it'd be great to get all four of these toes done. I don't know if we'll be able to do it. Yeah, and if you guys missed it before, uh, I will not be on it tomorrow night. So that's why another reason why I want to get these little toe nubbins done. Uh, we we're going to head out of town on Saturday, but we got a big old snowstorm coming. So we're going to bail a, a hair earlier if we can. All right. Tuck this last little bit under. I don't know if we'll be able to yet. So it's, it's, um, I may be here, <laughs> but uh, probably not if we can manage it. We'll keep an eye on things, eye on the weather. I'm just trying to get that last little bit tucked in there and it's not wanting to go. And I don't want to handle it too much because I don't want it to Ray all the way up to the line. Yeah, we're just gonna stuff it in there and try and work the shape a little bit. All right, good enough. I'm gonna tack it down. It's gonna be a little pointy at the end here. Oh, that's a good question, Gretchen. I haven't thought about that in a long time. Well, we're gonna keep the heat going, so that should help the pipes. <laughs> that's, um, that's a good question. So we'll, we'll let the neighbors know. So if there's a, if power goes out in the neighborhood or something, then that could be a problem. But I think, I think we'll be fine. But yes, that is, that is a thing that happens. Pipes bursting. Oh, actually we had a we had a pretty bad, uh, um, I know I talked about it all the time last year, but we had a snowstorm. It, actually, this didn't have to do with pipes popping. All right, I'm, I'm done with this toe. It actually turned out kind of round at the bottom. It turned out good. Um, but we had a lot of snow and frozen ground, 
uh, towards the end of the winter last year, and uh, then it started pouring rain, like cold, pouring rain. It was warm enough for that, but not warm enough to heat up the ground and not warm enough to get rid of all the snow. And then uh, tons of people's uh, basements flooded and a lot of people's pipes um, overflowed and stuff too, just because, and, and bathroom, like, getting flooded and all that with, with ice in, uh, in the pipes and stuff, because it was just way too much water than could be handled. And it couldn't go anywhere because everything was frozen. That, that was a problem. All right, I think I have enough thread here. I'm gonna just start the next one with, with this amount of thread, then I don't have to get more. I'm just gonna tie a knot at the end. This one actually turned out rather nice, I think. Good looking oval there. All right, here's number two. You could, in theory, cut all these out at once, but again, I, I like to protect the edge and by not cutting it out it doesn't have an edge yet so that's good i, I want to protect it from getting frayed i don't want well and getting lost too you know it would be easy to lose these tiny pieces i'm thinking but i don't want it all frayed up okay let's pin this down so number Jumping around. Okay, number two. Matching up those the blue lines on the yellow to the blue lines on the back. Kind of starting on the same side on all of them. Might as well. I'm used to it now. Oops, stab myself. Get in there. Oh, I think my pin is, my pin feels like it's not going through the fabric very well. So maybe, maybe that pin is dull. It went through my finger though. Oh yeah, and get them mixed up too. Uh, yeah, that's, I mean, that was my big concern when I started this, this uh, block, you know, back months ago when we started it. Uh, was how am I going to keep track of these? And that's why I have them all numbered. Uh, I had the pause numbered. We've covered up those numbers now because I, I wrote that number. The number is underneath the pause, but I had to number those. Just, yeah, I had to get real clear on that because <laughs> right away I'm like, this is going to be an issue. And I also numbered them uh, in a position where if the number is right side up, that's that's the angle of, of the toe, so I don't accidentally flip them around and do it the other way. Ooh, got a little frayed bit there. Oh, you used a metallic floss on your bow for this one. Oh, that's a cute idea. Yeah, I have not picked colors yet, so uh, when we start this up again, we'll have to definitely do all that. Pick some fun colors and get the embroidery going on this. That'll go faster than, than the uh, needle turn, I think. It is still, it's quite a bit of embroidery still, but not not as slow as a process. Yeah, we're just gonna take that much out and see how, how we do there. Man, tying that thread to the end here, that is working well, although I think I just untied it. Oh, no, we still got a little knot in there. This thread is so thin, this 100 weight silk thread, that I can tie a knot at the, at the needle there. I wonder if I can do that with the, when I work on that swan um, hand quilting, I wonder if I can do that. I, I suspect not, because we're going through a whole lot more fabric than we are with this needle turn. All right, I didn't really match to the back 
blue lines very well. But I think it'll still be okay. I'm trying to go super quick today because I ugh, I would love to get all all um, four and we're almost done with this one and it's not even nine so I'm I'm thinking I'm thinking we can get these other two done that would be so sad um, so sad if I uh, didn't uh, finish finish this tonight oh my gosh Robin Hope everything's okay. Yeah, Leslie, I um, I definitely think that mandala is gonna take some time. There's a lot going on with that. It's, it's, it's definitely um, more. It'll take a lot longer than the little koala will take. Gretchen, I think there is, um, or someone has made up that there that there is some company has made like, hey, we have foundation paper, and so I think. I think there is. I've not used it before, but I think some people here have. I think it's just I use just normal printer paper, and I think people say that the foundation paper is maybe a little thinner. All right, we're gonna stitch down the line here. Hope she's uh, hope she's typing <laughs> right now, Robin. That's something we will need for for this block. I don't think we need. Oh, oh, for the orophil block. Something we need for the orophil block. Yeah. Okay. So I haven't read through that. Did they say foundation paper for foundation paper piecing? Um, I will look over that pattern. Um, this weekend, the the way I normally do foundation paper piecing is I just print the pattern onto at one hundred percent. You got to make sure that it's one hundred percent still onto just normal printer paper. Oh, Jenna says that she uses phone book pages. Oh, that's cool. So that's that'll be thinner. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'll I'll look at that too. But I just use printer paper. It's a little thicker, so you just gotta be careful when you take the paper off, so you're not like pulling your stitches a lot. But it's doable. Oh goodness, Robin. Okay. Well, keep us informed. We'll all send some sparkles your way. <laughs> Yep, Carol, we made it back here. Oh, Easy Piece Foundation paper is sold. So uh, uh, Sylvia put up a, um, a brand or a title of some. I've not used it before. I mean, maybe it's, it'd be a good excuse to maybe test them out. I'll have to think about that. I wonder if you can, if anyone's used that before, I wonder if you can put it through your printer because to me, that's the key. Like, I don't want to trace a design. Ugh, I'm having trouble with this guy again. I don't want to trace the design. I want to just print it right from the pattern. All right. This guy's getting a little frayed and he doesn't want to loosen up for me here so I'm just gonna try and stuff it in there again and force it which I don't want to do I want to go around those curves slowly it's just not having it right here oh it does print oh, okay that would be a, that would be a factor in, in my brain so okay I will I'll look into that Oh, this is just strips to sewn paper. So is it not even like you don't even 
the strips aren't even drawn out. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Oh, Leslie, this this block was uh the hardest applique you've done. I mean, it's 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 tiny. Yeah, I mean, it, this would have been scary if this was my first foundation or my first uh, needle turn. And you know, it's not like I've done a ton of needle turn. But yeah, it, it's requiring patience and acknowledgement of like, oh, it might not be perfect and forming these little bits here and there and just trying to trap it. Uh, I really like how it's looking though. I think it's really fun, but yeah, I don't know if I would necessarily do all of this again. It's a lot of, a lot of um, little pieces. It's fun to do it once. I'm not going to make a whole quilt out of, you know, 80 of these. <laughs> 80 of these blocks. Tie that. All right, it is just now nine o'clock, and we only have two left. I think we can, pending, you know, pending, I don't stab myself or cut myself or other some crazy thing happens, I think we'll be able to get these little two, two pieces done here yet. I do need more thread this time though. I think maybe that was good, getting a little longer piece of thread. <laughs> there, two tiny pieces. <sighs> but maybe I'll get another like slightly longer piece of thread and then I don't have to get new thread in the middle of the two. I think maybe that saved us some time. I don't like thread that's too long though because it can get just worn out from all the friction of it going through the fabric and uh, and get tied in knots and everything a little bit more. So we'll just get a little bit. Maybe that's probably fine for two. Alright, I'm going to run this through the wax again. Otherwise it's just floating fluff it feels like. That definitely gave it a little bit more heft, enough to make it feel like what I'm used to for thread. Oh, the smallest eye, the smallest thread. Oh, let's tie, let's tie um, this top into a bunch of knots. That that was that's working well for us. Definitely not losing my needle as much, which is nice. Okay, tie a knot at the other end, and we should be good, but better to go, good to go. Uh-oh, messing up my knot. <laughs> That's a little small knot, but I think we'll be fine. All right, let's get our uh, uh, number three toe pad cut out here. trimming this a bit close, but it's been going quick and working well, so I'll stick to it. I'm right at like an eighth inch now. Usually I like a little bit more, but these are tiny pieces. Okay, let's match that up. That looks decent. Let's do it. I was like starting on the straight edge again. We'll go through that spot twice and that should kind of lock it all in place too. 
I'm not pulling too hard because I think my knot is pretty small. I don't want to pull it through, but there, now we should be good. All right, I think I, I'm going to try without clipping it this time. So I'm going to, I'm not going to reduce the bulk basically. Let's just stuff all this in here. My seam allowances are a little bit smaller. I wonder if this will make these ends a little bit easier. Oh, let's get rid of the pin. I know two toes to go. Let's get her done. I was worried when I came on tonight because it was kind of just a last minute decision that we're going to leave a little bit earlier. So I won't be here again tomorrow night. Uh, I was worried that maybe I won't get these pause this, uh, this needle turn done. So I'm really hoping I can get this toe and the next toe done yet. All right, so I didn't, I didn't trim the extra. And there, there definitely feels like there's a lot in here. So I'm going to put some extra stitches just to make sure it's all going to stay in there. But it'll just be a little poofier on the end and that, that'll be fine. I watched all the and season three of and with an E just finished it and that is still a cute show. I know some people uh, we were talking about that show before. <laughs> Oh, uh, yes, I'm, I'm hoping we'll be super safe. Oh, yeah, the granny squares. I I am super stoked for everyone's granny square quilts, too. It's just going to be so fun. We'll be back on that project again soon. I mean, it, we're going to be switching through these projects so quick, and it'll be neat to see them all progress and all progress at different rates because they're all different projects too. That'll be kind of interesting, I think. Get out of there. Grab the edge. Oh, speaking of, I think we did make this block a bit bigger just because we were going to hand, handle it a lot. You know, like I just drug my thread on the edge and braided it even more. Uh, so I think we made it bigger, this block, so we could trim it down. You like to switch around, it helps keep up. Oh, that's true too. Yeah, so if you're not doing all the projects, you know, having that time in between will help uh, just stay on top of them and stuff too. Yeah. For me, I like I like knowing what we're gonna do, and I like um, switching switching it up because I mean, if we did three weeks of needle turn applique, which this could have been, <laughs> that would have been that would have been tough for me. That would have been a lot. Oh, you just started watching and with the only two episodes, Love and Samara. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I, I think it's just sweet. I mean, it you know, it's based on the books. It's not 100% the books, but it has the same feel, the same energy, and, and it's just so just sweet, and it's fun to watch. I approve. I'm going to need a new TV show, though, now. John's still working through Cheers. <laughs> Maybe I should watch it. I've watched a few episodes with him again, and that would be a fun show to just have on. Get in there, last little bit. All right, that's good. I think, I think maybe this will be the last stitch here. Go around. 
that again. Oof, these are turning out just fine tonight. Yeah, okay, so apparently I needed three days to warm up and now I'm cooking through it. So, <laughs> uh, I, like I've been saying with needle turn, I almost need like a warm up period just to get it in my hands again. And then, then after a while, like, you know, I feel like I can talk a little bit more, I can chit chat a little bit more, and I can just let my hands do the work a little bit more. <laughs> so, uh, today's the day. It's, it's a three-day warm-up period. Yay, Jennifer, getting the rain. About time. So hopefully it's at least a little helpful for you guys. All right, I'm tying this in a knot right away for the next one. The last one. Masked Singer, oh gosh. I've heard of that, but I haven't seen any. Gosh, I don't know, I don't know. I don't do as well with those like reality shows. I just I don't know if I can do that one. I'm sure I would get into it. I didn't do that knot very well, so I'm gonna just do it again. Yeah, that's a little bit bigger. All right, let's get our last, last piece. And we're done with the, oh my gosh, I think this is the smallest one. Oh my gosh, maybe that's why I saved it for the end or why I went in that order. This one is teeny, 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 tiny. You know, I think it was a little bit easier not clipping it and I think it is because of this fabric. This fabric's just a little stiff, a little uh, more difficult to work in. Work out. Ooh, I am definitely bringing, okay, so projects bringing on my trip. I'm just visiting family, but I think uh, I'm gonna bring my swan to work on with all that, uh, the, I always want to say needle turn apathy, but the uh, hand quilting. So I'm gonna work on the hand quilting of that, or I brought it, there's potential. There's potential to work on uh, some hand quilting. There is a Packer game, you know, so there'll be time then. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna, Hopefully work on that. And I'm also bringing the sheep pillow, the knit sheep pillow. So we'll see, we'll see if that gets pulled out at all. That would be, first of all, I haven't knit in a long time. So that would be quite the project to get back into. And I think I stopped because I was at a part that I had to really concentrate and figure out. So I don't know if I'll have that sort of ability. Um, so we'll see. Yep, I already have the thimble packed. <laughs> Good to go. There you go, Leslie Ann. There you go. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Just, I think that's enough stitches. I'm going to already remove that pin. I just, there's just, I just need, need the space. This is such a small toe. This has got it. Oh, the first one, that one's pretty small. <laughs> Actually, this one might be the smallest one. This will be the second smallest. I keep dropping my needle, so I'm glad that I've tied it to it. away from me. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Good enough reason. I'm just, I'm visiting my parents. I'll be visiting Chad. Chad Kitty. Hopefully he's still there. I will uh, try and snooker a photo of him if I can. You love a needle knot. Yeah, I mean, I guess I haven't really done that before. And I mean, I'm always afraid that I won't be able to pull it through the fabric, but just with this needle turn with, I mean, this, this thread is so thin, this silk um, 100 weight thread that it still pulls through. 
the fabric easy peasy. <laughs> Bye, that's funny. Oh, shoot. We thought it'd be fun if the, the Packers were going to play the Vikings, which are by us here, but that did not pan out. Oh, I know I need my own Chad Kitty. Problem is, Chad Kitty is an outdoor kitty, and he can just chill outdoors with lots of space, and we can't really do that here. Yep, we'll be taking the new car, loading it up. We've kind of given up on, like, packing in a perfectly um, compact way, <laughs> unless we're flying on a plane. Then we're like hardcore packers. But uh, with the when we're just uh, when we're just driving somewhere, it's like, psh, let's just throw it all in the back. It's fine. Throw it all in there. So the car will be bloated with, with all our stuff. I will not be wearing purple. <laughs> uh, that just happens to be where we're from. That doesn't mean that's who I root for. Yeah, for me, it's just a fun time to just I mean, I don't even, we don't watch football games. I don't, we only watch it when we go visit um, parents and it's just, it's just fun. I think it's just fun to just chill and yep, eat food and sit around. It is primo craft time during, during football games. That's for sure. That is, that is the plan. The car is only front wheel drive. Uh, it's not all wheel or four wheel drive. It's a minivan and they don't, they're mostly all front wheel drive. So, um, no. So that's why we're watching the weather. But I mean, like, front wheel drive will do. Do the job, I'm thinking. I'm just trying to poop this little bit out. I'm having a little pointy bit here that I don't want to puts around with too much. Yeah, that's true, Bonnie. Nope, we don't have chains, so We've never done that by us. I mean, there's no real uh, up and down climbing. Gosh, that's interesting. I've never thought about doing having chains in the car for where we live. Uh, my brother, you know, up at Snoqualmie in, in Washington, he, he does. He's got, you know, the chains ready to go. I'm hoping to just avoid that sort of weather. That's why we're trying to leave a little bit early. Ugh, James. Haven't thought about that in a while. Oh, I know. Yeah, he puts the chains on. All right, we were in an area that they made you stop and put chains on. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know what that whole deal is. Like when one does that and when one doesn't. You also might fall off the cliff on a mountain, so <laughs> all the more to have, like, more traction. All right, that is it. Let's go around this last little stitch again. Holy cow, I could have, I had enough time to do one more of these. <laughs> we totally sped through, through these tonight. That's awesome. So we're actually going to have an early night, even with the... The, um, my phone not working right, coming back on here, and doing four. I mean, 
We didn't do four of these before, all in one, one sitting. So dang, we cruised this thing tonight. Awesome. All right, let's trim. Um, and I didn't, I didn't think we would get uh, far enough to pick embroidery floss. I was gonna do that tomorrow, but now I'm not gonna be here uh, tomorrow. Um, so yeah, tomorrow I was, I mean, tomorrow I thought I was gonna have to finish these yet, but I thought there'd be time to pick thread uh, tomorrow. Uh, but then I, then I wasn't gonna come in tomorrow. So, um, so I didn't get any of my embroidery stuff out. I didn't think we would have enough time tonight, but so we'll, we'll do that when we start up this project again. That'll be a good first step, I think. Uh, maybe it's better that we, we left it. Uh, all right, so uh, yes, so when we come back on this project, which will be the second week of February, the first full second week, uh, then we will pick embroidery floss and um, start stitching right away. I want it subdued still because I am doing that like subdued, the blonde quilt. Um, but a little green would be nice, but maybe it's just like a really pale green or something. All right, I am going to uh, uh, flip you guys around and we'll call it an early evening here. All right, everyone. So thanks again for bearing with me here. We, uh, I had a, came off and uh, got back on here. So thanks for popping back in. Uh, here we go. All of the needle turn applique. It's so cute where it goes over the, goes over the border a little bit there. But I don't know, that last paw, I think those those little ovals uh, look the best there, I think. So uh, like I'm telling you, I needed that three-day warm-up. <laughs> and then we can just crank it out after that. So <laughs> that is awesome. So uh, thanks, you guys. Oh, Marie, you got your package today. Awesome. So you'll be ready to go for next week. So again, next week, we are going to be stitching that mandala love pattern. Uh, the pattern is still available. The, the kits are sold out, so I don't have any more of the, the bundles. Um, I'm, I'm going to try and ship the pre-order bundles, that second wave of bundles that we did. I'm going to try and ship those uh, tomorrow yet. Uh, otherwise, they'll be going out on Tuesday because it's a holiday on Monday, so we, we, don't, um, we don't have any uh, post office <laughs> access. So uh, they'll go out a little bit later, but uh, hopefully they'll get to you guys fast. And uh, yeah, if you ordered in that first wave, which was just two days, January 1st and 2nd is when we sold out. Uh, those are all out, so I'm glad that I'm glad you guys are getting those. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited. We'll stitch that up next week. We may not get the whole thing done, and then, uh, but that's fine. We'll finish it at some point yet. And then on Saturday of next week, we will be stitching up the koala. Uh, design. And uh, I did send out information on that if you wanted to participate with the quilt. Uh, but I will, I'll let you guys know that here. I'll, I'll post that in the Penguin and Fish Crafters group too, a little bit of that. So awesome. Thanks you guys. And I will see you on Monday. Have a great Friday. Have a great weekend. Good night.